Brooke Millennial. So, by Aaron Lowry. <coughs> so, I got this kind of like of the title, and I am in the millennial age like group. So, uh, stop scraping by and get your fine financial life together. So, it's not like your typical beginner guide towards your money in like your 20s or 30s. It's it's more of the understanding of okay, this is the money stuff and this is like yeah, millennia millennials aren't lazy people. <laughs> A lot of people have thought we are. We're just A lot of us scraping paycheck to paycheck and not fully understanding, some not fully understanding money. So it's like, it's not totally boring or like you're feeling like totally confused of what is being discussed in the book. So there's some like randomly throughout there'll be like certain like checklists and like wrap ups of here's how like your to do list or like checklist or whatever. Like it there's a few like few quick summaries which would mingle the checklists. So, and it different, it, gi it gives different options on certain things like budgeting styles, debt repayment options, and a few other things as well. It's, <coughs> she's saying there are a few, uh, a few different ways to do these things depending on who you are in your situation. So... And also different aspects of personal of uh, like top like different topics of money like personal finances, taxes, salary, whether it's for yourself or if you work for a company, if you're together, and a few other situations as well. Uh, there's a financial resource guide after the epilogue and the acknowledgements. So there's different sites to go to. It's not extensive, but it's a starting point. So there, and there are some other websites throughout the book as well. So some of the sites would end up in the back resource guide, but there are others in there. A lot of it is for like the American reader, but a lot of it can be pushed over to readers th uh, throughout the world. Like, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure like the 410K in the US is similar to the RRSP here in Canada. So, like retirement savings through, through like your company or yourself sort of thing. So there's, so you can kind of say, okay, we have something similar in whatever, wherever you're reading this and you can relate to it. So it is worth something having to, worth, worth having a look into if you aren't big on the traditional beginner's guide to personal finance in your 20s or 30s, whatever type of books. So it's just a different perspective on like personal finance and like finances that relate to you, whether it's like your career, taxes, and so so on. So Broke Millennial by Aaron Lowry. Happy readings.